Thousands of acres of California forest land go up in smoke every year due to wildfires, in some cases leaving nature struggling to regenerate. Cal Fire and the U.S. Forest Service are hard at work trying to give trees a head start, collecting seeds to start seedlings and greenhouses and planting them by hand. But now drones could drop those future trees from the sky. As the country experiences more large and destructive wildfires, it's become harder for nature to bounce back. U.S. forests are really at a at a crisis point. Uh, we have seen catastrophic wildfires. David Lytle with the U.S. Forest Service says some forests need help to regrow. The process usually demands crews hand planting lab grown seedlings in scorched areas. It's labor intensive and time consuming. But now some are hoping to speed up the process with the help of drones. If, if natural regeneration is occurring less and less um, because the, the fires are high severity, uh, what we need to do is we need to be able to step up and be able to, uh, as humans, reforest faster. Grant Canary is CEO of Drone Seed. The company can deploy swarms of drones in fire devastated areas, often over rough terrain, moving faster than humans. And difficult terrain, we're seeing about drones can navigate and fly across that terrain uh, about six times faster. They map out the area and the drones are programmed to drop seed vessels in locations marked ideal for their survival. The seed vessels are about the size of a hockey puck. Inside are seeds of native trees and other elements that assist in the growing process. Still, the U.S. Forest Service says hand planting seedlings is often more successful. It has a higher likelihood of survival uh, because it's grown to a, a you know, a a larger size and is more developed than, than a seed would be. University of California forestry specialist William Stewart says because drones are still relatively new to the reforestation picture, it's difficult to measure their cost effectiveness and success rate. There's no reason to just say we can only do it the old way or we're only going to do it the new way. I think we're going to see both of them out there on the landscape. A landscape that is continuing to be threatened by fires and increasingly in need of help to replenish and restore what was lost. So for now, Cal Fire says it's keeping an eye on this new drone technology because California's forests certainly have a long road ahead to recover. A recent report found that California wildfires killed nearly a fifth of all giant sequoias on Earth.